Hey everybody, week five, Chris here, and uh, here we are with a pregame uh, video for the Winnipeg Blue Bombers against Edmonton Eskimos. Edmonton being a 2-1, and one, just coming off a back-to-back -back win against Ottawa. Now, it's looking like the uh, strongest defense of last year's CFL is coming through again. They are building up to be the best and the strongest defense of the CFL again, which means Drew Willie best be, you know, keeping all 10 of his eyes open, 360 degrees, because they're going to come out of nowhere. Now, Edmonton, however, their offense, they got some uh, couple, lethal, uh, couple lethal weapons there, Bowman and Bell. They got the passing and they got the running. Both are very, wow, good players. I have no stats on them, but I know they're good. Uh, last week uh, against Ottawa, they were just dominating. Um, on their defense as well, they got ex-bomber Odell Willis. Yeah, Odell Willis is, uh, well, he's a bit of a troublemaker, but he is good at what he, do, at what he does. So we're definitely going to see some action from him tonight. He is going to be looking for some uh, revenge against us on how we left. I think everyone knows about that. Um, so Winnipeg, they're 2-2 two and two after last week's uh, very narrow, upsetting loss against Calgary. Uh, they're looking for uh, a bit of a, a redemption. Um, now, with that said, if they took Kyra Lahu off the field and put someone else in, I'm sure we'd do better. Either that or he had better gotten his demons in check. If he hasn't gotten his demons in check, I think for sure we're going to see a little bit of problem from him tonight. However, like I said, if he pops the Viagra this afternoon before the game, we might be doing all right. So, uh, here we got Darvin, I uh, Darvin Adams. Um, just came out of nowhere. I mean, he was making some big plays. I mean, he's not that big a player. He's no Nick Moore. He's no uh, Clarence Denmark. But you know what? This guy is definitely going to make a name for himself, and I think he's going to go places. He's got good hands. He's got good legs. He's able to get into, uh, into the open to make those plays count. Um, so I think, again, for tonight, that Darvin Adams uh, will definitely be um, a favorite target for Drew Willie today. Um, Cotton, Paris Cotton, everyone knows that he, he can and he does have the, uh, the ability to become that playmaker, that running playmaker and definitely cover the grounds. But you know what? We haven't seen it in the past couple weeks. He's been sitting in the shadows. He's kind of just laying low. I don't know if it's a tactic. Is it a coaching tactic to kind of make them make the opponent think that he's not going to be the big running player? Well, who knows? If it is, hey, how about we get this guy going again, please? If he isn't, then I think he's got to really start opening his eyes to where the openings are. Um, the O-line really has to start concentrating on where they're opening and make sure that Cotton can see it. Marshall, the strong arm. You know, running back strong arm. This guy's got the potential to push and take the opponent with him. But he hasn't been getting the ball lately. When he does, he gets three, four yards average a game. That's it. Uh, a carry. So tonight I think it's going to be a very good game. Uh, it's going to be a, a definitely going to be a, a defensive game. Uh, let's just uh, hope to <laughs> count the lucky stars that, uh, you know, um, Winnipeg finds that little... Thing against Edmonton. Um, also, a little bit of news that I, I found out: Greg Peach is on the injured injured list. Um, he is a leader of the uh, he is a team leader for for the defense. However, it uh, in his replacement, they're bringing in Thaddeus Gibson. I know absolutely nothing about this guy, but apparently he was uh, practicing with the team. Um, he was showing some good potential. And well, let's just see what he's gotten. See what happens. Also, with the change, Jamal Westerman is coming in uh, with Thaddeus, and let's see what happens with the two new uh, uh, two new guys on the line, the defensive ends, and oh crap, what? Ah, uh, whatever. But the, let's just find out. So enjoy the game tonight. I'll get back to you afterwards. Go Blue.